Other black hat SEO techniques. Pingback spam. Some practitioners set up scripts to notify search engines of content repeatedly to create the illusion that it is new. Cyber squaring. This involves the domain registration of a trademarked name and either used to redirect traffic to a site of one's own choosing or to otherwise post promotional content. Typo squaring. This involves purchasing a domain name that is a misspelling of a competitor's brand name and redirecting traffic from it to one's own site. Cookie stuffing. Practitioners employ this technique when they place cookies on a user's computer without their knowledge. Social network spam. Practitioners may flood social networks with spam comments promoting their website and or target specific users on social networks for the recipients of these messages. Page swapping. Some practitioners swap the content of a high performing page with content from a low performing one. Translated sites or machine translation. Practitioners may use programs to translate content into other languages automatically for SEO purposes. This often yields unintelligible pages. Link building software. A common form of link spam is the use of link building software to automate the search engine process. Link farms are tightly knit communities of pages referencing each other. Cybel attack. A cybel attack is the forging of multiple identities for malicious intent named after the famous multiple personality disorder patient Cybel. A spammer may create multiple websites at different domain names that all link to each other, such as fake blocks, known as spam blocks. Spam blocks are blocks created solely for commercial promotion and the passage of link authority to target sites. Guest block spam. It is the process of placing guest blocks on website for the sole purpose of gaining a link to another website or websites. Unfortunately, often confused with legitimate forms of guest blogging with other motives than placing links. Page hijacking. It is achieved by creating a raw copy of a popular website which shows contents similar to the original to a web crawler but redirects web surfers to unrelated or malicious websites. Buying expired domains. Some link spammers monitor DNS records for domains that will expire soon then buy them when they expire and replace the pages with links to their pages. However, Google resets the link data on expired domains. Cookie stuffing. It involves placing an affiliate tracking cookie on a website visitor's computer without their knowledge, which will then generate revenue for the person doing the cookie stuffing. This not only generates fraudulent affiliate sales, but also has the potential to override other affiliates' cookies, essentially stealing their legitimately earned commissions. Using world writable pages, websites that can be edited by users can be used by spam dexers to insert links to spam sites if the appropriate anti-spam measures are not taken. Comment spam. It is a form of link spam that has arisen in web pages that allow dynamic user editing such as wikis, blogs and guestbooks. Wiki spam is a form of link spam on wiki pages. The spammer uses the open editability of wiki systems to place links from the wiki site to the spam site. Referral log spamming. It takes place when a spam perpetrator or facilitator accesses a web page that is the referee by following a link from another web page, the referral so that the referee is given the address of the referer by the person's internet browser. Mirror websites. A mirror site is the hosting of multiple websites with conceptually similar content but using different URLs. Some search engines give a higher rank to results where the keyword searched for appears in the URL.